Hi again, welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I'd follow up from my introduction, introductory video to bring you up to speed with my journey so far. Um, it actually took me quite a while to make the decision to put this channel together. So I've actually already been through quite a process up to this date. Um, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to just fill you in and then we can all go ahead from there. Um, story in short, end of July last year, on a basic morning routine check of my breast, I found a pea-sized lump. I mean, it was tiny. And I hadn't been very vigilant in checking myself, to be honest. Um, and it was so small that I almost had to double take. Did I feel something? Did I not? And I had to almost dig to find it again, to be sure. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll check another day or so, go in another couple of days, checked again, it was still there. I was in Europe at the time. Um, in essence, it didn't seem to be going away. I did feel there was something going on, even though it was very tiny. But in my head, I thought it was maybe a cyst. Um, but I ended up paying to go privately and got a misdiagnosis of a cyst. Put it out my head, okay, good to go. But there was something just niggling in the back of my mind that something just wasn't right. Um, cut to the end of September, I was in another part of Europe and a family member of mine urged me to get it rechecked so I ended up paying private again getting it rechecked and unfortunately within 24 hours was in an emergency mammogram and ultrasound with a diagnosis of a tumour that had grown from nothing to about 1.75 centimetres in I don't know about eight weeks um, so that was on the 2nd of October last year Within a week I was back in the UK, um, frantically trying to get my ducks in a row here, bearing in mind all my records of diagnosis were from Europe. Um, by the 13th I was in consultation and emergency biopsy with a P4. And on the 19th of October 2017 I was diagnosed with breast cancer, malignant tumour. Grade three, aggressive. So you can imagine that was quite a whirlwind for me. Um, my actual diagnosis is not the most common one. Um, I'm what they call a triple negative, which most breast cancers are hormone fed for the women. Uh, mine, they don't actually know where it comes from, what feeds it, what makes it grow. All I know is at this point, on the 19th of October, I'd gone from a tiny pea, barely measuring, to a 2.2 centimetre tumour on my left breast. Um, and you know, in my head, when I went into that appointment, I, I knew, but I just, in my head, I was like, you know, lumpectomy, cut it out, get on with my life. So when they sat me down and talked about the surgery and chemotherapy, the word chemotherapy came up, it absolutely blindsided me to be honest. Um, it was a, quite a traumatic day um, and I know there's so many of you that have been sat in that chair um, and been given that news. Cut to 15th of November, um, I was taken into surgery because of the aggression of my cancer type they do surgery first because the chemotherapy doesn't react the same with this type of tumour that it does with um, hormone fed where they shrink the tumour first then do surgery so they'd like to get it out first so there's less for the chemo to potentially attack um, and amazing surgeon that I had did an unusual surgery called a lycap flap because there was going to be some deformity in my breast so he actually did surgery where he cut from sort of my bra line flesh cut that out and sort of slotted it in where the tumour was 
quite amazing really. Um, the fantastic news is my histology came back with only one lymph node removed that was draining and the margins were clear. Fantastic news. Um, but because of my cancer type, it's so unpredictable and there's so much they don't know about it. It's known to fire off cancer cells while it's growing and things like this. So they, they still say chemotherapy is the answer to ensure that everything's gone. Um, two things were going through my mind at this point. In essence, I felt cancer free, so I was actually questioning even having chemotherapy. And it took me a long time to make that decision, and I'll come back to that. Um, the surgery was a success, however, after just a week, I did get quite a bad staph infection, which put me on quite a nasty, intense journey for three months post-surgery because the staph infection got so bad it blew open the entire wound from surgery. I think we're up to about 50 something visits to the hospital now because um, dressing changes, wound inspections, additional stitches, I can go on. In essence, what I'm saying is, to this point, it's already been quite an ordeal <laughs> for me, and I haven't even started on the cancer side of things yet, other than the fact, obviously, the tumour is, thank God, gone. Um, I finally got my first chemotherapy date through on the 29th of January, and it had to be cancelled because my wound just wasn't healed enough, because obviously any of you that know, once you start chemotherapy, because the immune system is dropped, any healing your body has to do ceases or extremely slows. So they had to be sure that the wound was good enough um, to be able to continue with chemotherapy. Um, I ended up getting my first date through for the 7th of February. Um, and so now my cancer treatment journey has begun. And I will follow up with you now with more regular videos and give you insight into how it is for me. But please um, take the time to share your story with me if it helps. Um, any tips, hopes, anything you can offer me or anything you want to ask me. If there's anything I can help you with if you've just found out and you, you want a little bit of insight. Um, I'm here for you as much as this channel's here for me to air my thoughts. So please subscribe, like my posts, comment uh, and share with anybody that you feel will benefit from this. Um, I know that's quite a lot to take in, but I wanted to give you a bit of background to get you to where I am um, so that we can continue with the regular uh, video updates of where I'm at and how things are changing and improving and I'd be great to hear how you're all getting on too. So thanks for listening um, and I hope to hear from you and I hope on some level that this helps some of you out there. Thank you.